Now, you know, we have been obviously avoiding the real elephant in the room. No shit. There's I mean, I, I thought you weren't going to bring it up. I wasn't going to, you know, um, we don't, you know, I, the... But can you fucking believe it, though? No, I can't. Can you fucking believe it? And that's why. You know, I know, I mean, I'm no Obama apologist, but I generally don't want to, you know, point out uh, when he is totally just, I mean, F things up. Barack Obama, our president, is in England, had a city... Which is, which is near Europe. Yeah, it's in, it's in the area. And he's ha- he has a, a, a sitting with the queen, and her and her guy, the Ugh. king. And what does he do? King 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 is I think the king is dead. Yeah, isn't he? Or the queen's husband? He's just, queen's he man. He plays it very low key if he's alive. Let's put it that way. All right. And what does he do? He gives her a present. What does he give her? An iPod. Oh God! What the? F- oh God! Who doesn't have an iPod? I mean, anyone can get an iPod. An iPod. Jesus. What, he doesn't even understand that, you know, number one, she already has one. Number two, is that the proper gift for a queen? And number three, who the fuck started these stories? Are you President kidding? Obama has given Queen Elizabeth a, uh, a gift, a little more uh, technologically based gift than the DVDs he gave the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown last month, but it is sure to be one of controversy nonetheless. The Obamas, they had tea with Her Majesty today and presented her with an iPod. But here's the problem. She already had one. The President did bring a gift, an iPod for the Queen. She apparently already has one. Maybe she'll use the new one just when she goes jogging. President Obama gave the Queen a new iPod. She is believed to already own an iPod. There are a lot of Americans on there really expressing kind of outrage and embarrassment uh, that uh, President Obama gave this iPod uh, to the Queen. Apparently she already has one. Uh, She's had one since like 2005. Now it might seem like a minor detail, you know, the kind that a six-year-old would have known after two minutes on Google. But after the Obamas provoked outrage with their gift of DVDs to Prime Minister Gordon Brown earlier this year, well, you would think that they would be extra careful. Mr. Obama's gift for the Queen, a video iPod with footage of her 2007 trip to Washington, the gift that officials say she requested. The Obamas, they scored a hit, and particularly with the iPod, loaded with footage of the state visit from uh, two years ago. But not just footage. You see the... the, the, the Wait, we should say that's from Daily Coast TV, that, uh, that uh, montage. What a douchebag, you know, everybody in the American media is. You know, Lou Dobbs, what a, what a fucking douchebag, because they are too shallow to understand that Barack Obama is actually the new 20th century president. The iPod's got nothing to do with anything. It, it is just a delivery system. The iPod was filled... It's like saying, like, he came and gave her a bag. Apparently, she already has bags, and yeah. they just forget to mention that she, inside of it. Inside the scepter. Well, but yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, it, but but the, in the iPod, they had the pictures of her visit. But not only that, they presented her with this uh, this songbook, a very rare songbook of I, who was it? Rogers? Was it? Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. But but not Rogers and Hart. But it was just it was a, it was a collector's Richard item. Richard Rogers. Richard Rogers he autographed and he had song. autographed it. And in the iPod, not, along with pictures of her trip to the United States. He put all these great musical numbers from all these different musics. I mean, this is one of the more thoughtful gifts uh, anyone could give anybody. It's almost his version of a mix CD, in a way. But I mean, even let's let's just you know for the, the let's for the time being just saying like, oh, he just gave her an iPod. He just gave her like an eight gig iPod right, that in was the empty. box. Still, that was empty. It was in the box. Whatever. I got it off eBay. It was cheap. Okay, juxtapose it, and the and the idea is that we're supposed to be embarrassed. Like who, when 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 Dobbs and Hannity do this. Who is this sticking into their, you know, whose craw do they think they're sticking this in? Like, oh, this is going to get our audience really riled up. Yeah, George Bush put a face on America that was basically about killing hundreds of thousands in a preemptive war. Uh, that doesn't necessarily embarrass Americans. But, but, but an iPod, Ooh. man, there's people walking around just going like, I can't even show my I face out in public it. today. I, I hope I don't run into a British person for the rest of my life. Because I'm going to be the guy whose president gave her an iPod. going to be shunned. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Who does this work with? Who does this work yeah, with? I, I think also, Sammy, I don't think it works with anybody. I, I think that, it, but also it wasn't just Republican you know, stooges either. It was everybody just scrambling to have a story. There's a, a quote here from a, 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 an etiquette 
a coach or an etiquette professional or an etiquette specialist on the other thing that everyone got upset about, which was the touching of the queen? Do we have that picture? I mean, see, the idea is that you're what? not supposed to touch the queen, but they forget one thing. The queen is touching her. <laughs> I mean, you look at you like, oh, Michelle Obama. What is she doing? She's overstepping her bounds and touching the queen. Wait, the queen's touching her too. Yes, and, and so you know, the point being here that well, I mean, the real story here is, oh my God, the queen who never touches anybody or to, or, or allows to be touched is hugging. It's practically walking around arm in arm with an American first lady. Holy shit, this is, I mean, this and is some type of statement she's making. There's no shortage of people that want to touch the Obamas either. If we can see that next picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. The, the, the amazing thing about, look at Berlusconi's <laughs> face. Yeah, this is like the type of picture that you take like, dude, look at me, look at my foursome. We have a fucking shit face. Look at Obama, Obama, Obama. Come here, Obama, this come is here. Like this, thing, this is like as if like uh, uh, Barack Obama Walked into a uh, like a frat house one day, and uh, all the frat brothers <laughs> wait, 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 get, get the get the image off there. It's like the frat all the frat brothers get the image off there. It's like he, Obama walking yeah, into yeah, the yeah. frat, but everybody's like <laughs> <laughs> Obama, Obama, hey ma, hey. there's no more money. <laughs> I mean, it's like Berlusconi. I've never seen. It's just like eh, for some tell of these, everybody. I, I will took a picture with Barack Obama. This, for some of these leaders, you have to understand also that this is the first time they've actually been able to to warmly and openly embrace with respect a black person. Oh, look at this! I'm a hugging a black guy. He's the president of the United States. Holy shit! Ah, this is gonna be on TV. <laughs>